Hey Ark, how's it going? Um, I'm running the end of the movie now, to be honest. I've just been I'm just hung over today. <laughs> anyway, um Yeah, so th I went through here the the main the main question, um and I've highlighted everything that I thought was relevant and it's helped me kind of look at different parts of the question and help me decipher some things. So anyway, I've highlighted here the books, buyers, sellers, authors and publishers. Um these are all the main entities involved. Um and I've went through and then I've also highlighted some of the relationships here. So sell, buy, written and published. This is just some of them. Um, I've been recorded them here. So I did strong entities, relationships. I'll explain weak entities in a minute. Um, so I basically just took the attributes, which was like, so book, and then here's the attributes, and I'll put it here. And this is what I would do in paper. I just had to type it out so you could see it. Um, and then I did the same for author. So all done here, name and nationality, author name and nationality. Um, and then you've got, each author is uniquely identified by his or her name. So I have included the name as the primary key. And the same when it comes down to publisher, uh, there's a name, city, country. And you asked me that question before, you do just, you get rid of the address part here. So it says address, you get rid of the address part and just put city and country. You don't need to do it at this step, but you can. Um, if you want and then it says publisher is uniquely identified by the name and you can see that there all right um, it says here sellers and buyers have a set of common attributes including name email and phone each seller or buyer is uniquely identified by his or her email okay so what I've done there is I've created a person entity um, because buyers and sellers um, both have the same attributes um, it would be seen as a bit redundant data there to create the same um, to create the same t like two different tables with holding kind of similar information. Um, so what I did is I've used a, an ISA triangle um, to actually get the buyers and sellers to inherit the same table of persons. Um, so they'll have that, um, but yet still uh, maintain the identity of a buyer and a seller, um, but having the same information in there. Um, so yeah, that makes sense. Um, obviously there's no data there because I can read it on here. In addition to each seller, the database all keeps keeps information on the seller's customer rating from one to five. So, for the, that's whenever I saw seller seller's customer rating, that seems to me like it would be a weak entity set because um, a seller's customer rating can't exist without a seller. Um, so I was thinking of modeling that as a weak entity set, um, and I put that down here. Um, Let's see, and for each buyer, the database keeps the number of books the buyer has bought. So that will come down in their relationship, I think. Um, and the database also records which book a seller wants to sell. Okay, that's no problem. Uh, that's going to be a relationship. So that's going to be in the seller relationship. So these are these are going to be um. It's going to be. It's, it's going to make sense when you see it. And the database also records a book seller wants to sell and which book the buyer wants to buy. That makes sense. And for each buyer, the database keeps his or her book purchase record that consists of the books, the ISBN, and the date of the purchase. So I put attached tributes down here for the buys. So it's going to be from the entity. Well, I'll probably just show it to you actually. Um, yeah. So I've got the diagram. I did it out here. So this is the part we're talking about. So the attached attributes. So this is where <coughs> buyer and book. So book uh, the buyer buys a book, and these are the attributes that are attached. ISBN, data purchase, a number of books that should be attached up to there. Um, yeah, and this here is modeled as a a total. Per this uh, this here relationship totally participates within buyer and book because these um, attributes need to exist um, with this relationship. Um, that's why it's modeled that way. And as you can see, everything else I, else I explained has been put into this table. Um, the seller and the buyer, they both inherit the tributes from person. So we've got name, email, and phone. So email is the primary key. Um, so they've both got those sets of, um, both sets of attributes. Um, yeah, and then here's the weak entity set I was telling you about. Um, so you've got this here relationship and the weak entity set basically because um, because seller can't seller customer trading can't exist without seller being there um, so yeah and that's the customer rating um, and see the thing is as well because you've got 
it would be it would be the because the only thing as well about weekends that he says is that they can't they don't have a primary key they take a primary key from one one attribute in, in the seller table and they'll take one from the seller customer rating so it would probably be the email of seller um, and also then the um, customer rating um, it would be the customer rating then beside it that would be the that would make up the primary key of the seller customer rating table so you've got author here primary key name ISBN primary key of the book um, then it comes down to creating the schema Right, so I haven't actually did this, but I'm going to do it now. So I'll start off with book. So there's two sets to this, because at first you want to create the schema um, method, uh, stage one, stage one. So create tables for all entities and relationships. Excuse my spelling, sorry. And titles. No, I will not spell that incorrectly. Um, so I'll just do an example here. I'm not going to go through all of them. Book. ISBN. Author. Actually, I can just copy, copy and paste this. Right. So you got your primary keys to ISBN. Right. Published. Um, it was basically what you what you see on screen right now. So published. What what would connect publisher and book? Well, I'll, maybe I'll do publisher first then, and uh, to explain it. So publisher is name, country, city, right? So how could I connect these two? I would need to put in a publisher, and then I would go. You know, um, well, you would probably put publisher name, but I mean that, that that's a bad example because it's actually already done. They already connect. So instead of saying publisher, it would be this. Would, this also would be publisher too. Um. So this would be. This would be the foreign key. Um, sorry, I am totally wrong. I apologize. That's the primary key, right? So ISBN. Then you need to create. No, I was right. Sorry. So let's see. How would I create the two? So ISBN is that. So ISBN. It would be a list of, it would be ISBN and then it would be a published table. So ISBN would be the foreign key and then, um, then it would be publisher. So there would be a list of tables stating publisher. So that would be a publisher table so it can reference the ISBNs. Um, and then that would link back to, so that really should be publisher name. So name of pub. And you just work through it that way. And you just keep going until you get, you just follow the rules for it. And that somehow makes sense. Um, yeah, I hope that made a little bit more sense. Um, and then you just follow the rules for creating the schema, which is pretty simple, just normalize um, and do the rest. All right, thanks.